I know a lot of you watch me for games like Mario, Smash Bros, and Mario Kart, so you might assume that one of those games was my first Let's Play a review, right? Oh, hi! I played the game today! Nope. Back in 2004, before YouTube even existed, I used to make videos like these with this crappy little webcam. And yeah, the first game I ever recorded in my entire life was Hamster Ball. Yeah, I, I haven't changed much. But alas, let's look back at my obscure childhood game and see if it still holds up today. So here it is. Looking back, I'm now realizing how basic this game really is. It's a lot like Marble Madness where you roll a marble to a goal, but with a hamster instead. The main mode to play is Tournament, where you have to complete a variety of tracks as quickly as possible. First is the warm-up race, and it's literally just warming up. Admittedly, the graphics are pretty cheap looking, but this is one of those gameplay focused games, so I've never really cared about that and still don't. Then you got the beginner race. It's slightly harder with some bouncy bumpers and steeper hills, but still pretty easy. Near the end, you'll run into an eight ball that literally just wants you dead, but avoiding him is a non-issue. For now, anyway. This ain't the last time we'll see him. Then the intermediate race introduces Pipes, the new hip way to travel. The eight ball is back and slightly more aggressive this time around. At the end, you'll run into these comically large mouse traps. Like, goddamn, what are they trying to catch a dragon? <laughs> like, what? After that, we proceed to the Dizzy Race, and it's really not that dizzifying. There's some twisty roads to go down, but it's not too shabby. The hardest part is the curvy downhill section. I make it look easy because I've played this hundreds of times, but you have to slow down a lot to avoid falling. Wow, that is what you call a kind and polite pile of tar. Well, thank you for the warning. At the end, you'll cross the water wheel and you're basically done. So as you can see, these courses can get really creative. And next is the tower race. It's by far the most intricate looking level. You really feel like you're rolling through a tower. You got spiky balls to avoid, spoons that launch you from place to place, windmills to creak through. It's really great stuff. There's also this pink monster guy that looks kind of creepy, but is easy to avoid. Let's go over the up race. As the name implies, you travel up most of the time, whether that be through vacuum tubes, ramps, or giant loops. It's a surprisingly fast-paced course, and holy mackerel, check out the neon race. That's what you call aesthetic. The neon glow effect not only looks cool, but is also utilized as a great gimmick since your sight is limited. You got some corkscrew-like hills to cross, radiating buttons that come in and out of existence, and you need to carefully time when to go across these lit up bridges. This whole course is so innovative, it's one of the best ones in Hamster Ball. Next is the Expert Race, and check- Oh. Oh yeah! Also, this course is hard as balls. Right off the bat, there's this steep hill, and then a giant scary hammer that's trying to pound you to a pulp. Like, geez, is that intensely scary face necessary? Then there's this part with a bunch of giant fans trying to blow you off course, and the wind is powerful, so it's easy to fall off. Around the end, some random buzzsaw grinds off half the bridge, which is followed by this ginormous hill, like, damn, I'm surprised I didn't get sick from that. I do love how these random hamsters give you a score after your jump. It's pretty great. Then you go to the odd race, and it certainly is odd. The gravity is funky, you'll have to roll across walls and shrink down in size, and all sorts of weird shenanigans. This track is deceptively hard. The controls don't quite match up when you're on a wall, and it can be kind of disorienting. You know what else is odd though? I didn't mention this before, but you can actually play this game with a mouse. Yeah, imagine moving with a mouse, like honestly. It doesn't improve your accuracy like a first person shooter, it just hinders you. But anyway, onto the tube race. We've gone through tubes before, but that concept is taken to the next level. Also, can I just ask, why is a walking iron trying to hold me up? Like seriously, that's straight up a freaking iron. Don't tell me it isn't. This track is fun for the most part, except for this bouncy bullshit. Like, good lord, I can't control where I'm going. And of course, oh, let's, let's just throw in an eight ball, make it more obnoxious. And oh boy, the wobbly race. This is where I'd imagine most people would get stuck and need to practice. The difficulty kicks you straight in the sack. Most of the platforms wobble and wobble around, and getting used to the physics takes a lot of time. But man, once you do put in that effort and learn how Hamster Ball really works, this level is genuinely satisfying to play. And like a lot of the other songs, this one is straight up a throbbing banger too. 
So this is the glass race, and it's by far one of the worst levels I've ever played in any marble rolling game ever. Imagine your least favorite snow level and how much you hate those slippery controls. Got that in your head? Good. Take that, multiply it by 10 bajillion gazillion, and you get this. Admittedly, the design is pretty cool and the glass effect looks neat, but it's so slippery that it's practically unplayable. After that misery is a much better track, the Sky Race. It's very twisty and turny, but for the most part, it's fair. There's not a lot of obstacles, you basically just have to play well. The first obstacle, though, is this magnifying glass that uses the sun's rays to try to melt you inside the ball. Can I just reiterate that? A giant magnifying glass is trying to melt me to death. Near the end, the 8-ball scary uncle blue ball comes out of the ground and chases you. I think you can actually outroll this guy, but he's way smarter and faster than the regular 8-ball, so I usually just fall off or he knocks me off course. But now, onto the master race, and this track is just ridiculous. The main gimmick are these corkscrew-like paths that you have to manually traverse. Yeah, this ain't no modern Sonic game where the corkscrews are done automatically. No, you gotta figure out the gravity and physics all on your own. It is painfully hard to get used to, but once you do, and once it all clicks, you feel like a god that can overcome anything. I love that this track is brutal, but also fair at the same time, and the grueling music fits perfectly with this too. And that's where I wish the game ended. But nope, there's one more track. And it's called the Impossible Race. Hamsterball really doesn't over-exaggerate their titles at all. This track basically is impossible. Every path you take is way too narrow. Look, it's barely big enough for your hamster butt to get through. And then when you die, the spawns are often stupidly unfair. Like, look, I died down here and spawned at the beginning. What's that all about? Then there's a spinning platform that's honestly unfeasible to stand on top. Like, seriously, good luck getting across. And after that is the worst part of the game, this rotating nonsense. You're supposed to get your hamster on this platform and roll inside the tube, but the problem is the physics. The game seems to freak out when you move like this and you just lose all sense of control. And to make matters worse, the tube's hitbox is tiny. So there's so many moments where I should have gone inside the tube, but instead was pushed aside. Then there's this twirly part, which I think speaks for itself. Self, like, just look at how stupid this is. Like, seriously, nothing about this track is fun. They went way too far with the difficulty. Whew, and that is all the tracks. Now, while I complained a lot about that one, I still love this game after all these years. Before wrapping up, though, let's go into some of the side modes. As you may have expected from a game like this, there's a time trial mode. It's a great way to practice the tracks and really understand the mechanics of Hamster Ball. I love that you can earn medals for getting good times too. It's a nice incentive to try to get better and better. Then there's the Mirror Tournament. You unlock this after completing the regular tournament on normal mode or harder. It's nothing special, it's just the same tracks but mirrored. You don't unlock anything for completing it, so there's not much of a point to this mode. And finally, there's the party games. There's two variants. First is the party race, which is basically playing hamster ball with a friend. And there's Rodent Rumble, which is kind of like bumper balls for Mario Party. You can even play this with a friend. Change new stages, maybe throw in items, change the options of... Hey dude, am I... Oh. Am I interrupting? Hey dude. Oh, hey dude. So, what's going on? Right on! Why does this always happen? Rodent Rumble is cool because each arena has elements from every regular track in the game. You start with three but have to unlock the others. To unlock the other arenas, you have to find the hidden path in every single level while playing in tournament mode. This concept is really brilliant and creative, but it also kinda sucks. The problem is you don't get any sort of hint as to where these hidden paths are. Like, they're seriously in the most random places. Wobbly Race is the most annoying to find because it's literally after the finish goal. Like, come on, that's ridiculous. But anyway, to run through the arenas real quick, Warm Up is basically just a circle. Begin has got some bumpers and an 8-ball. Intermediate has a bunch of mouse traps. Dizzy's got a spinning circle. Tower has some spiky balls and a spoon. Up is just kind of lame, like look at it, just looks dumb. Neon, everything is dark and the barriers fade in and out. Expert's got a fan that blows people. Odd is just a circle but with the gravity gimmick. Tube uses tubes and bumpy stuff. Wobbly is just a circle, but it's wobbly. Glass is bad. Sky's got those push-up circle things from the original level. Master has some holes you can jump in and out of. And Impossible has some gears from the original track, and they're kind of annoying. But that is basically all of them. 
And that is the entire game. Now, crazy enough, Raptosoft, the guys that made Hamster Ball, have been hinting at Hamster Ball 2 for several years, but it's never come to fruition. And at this point, I doubt it's even going to. But it would be cool if there was online co-op. Okay, well, I guess I'm not randomly getting interrupted for this one. So, I've got some time for myself. Hey. What's up? Oh, hey. What are you doing here? I always come here on Wednesdays for Falcon Punch practice. What are you doing out here? Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, I got a giant hamster ball. Wait, you can go in that? Well, I think so. I was just gonna- Can I use it? No, I haven't even tried it yet. Oh, come on, man. Let me test drive and make sure it's safe. Really, I'm fine. You didn't even play hamster ball with me today anyway. Huh? Don't worry about it. Falco! What? Oh! 